hello my wonderful people welcome back to yet another touching video today's video is about the reports making round on social media that peter wachoko the husband of the Ikweme gospel singer was snatching wachoko has been sentenced to death by hanging after he was found guilty of murdering his wife so in this video we are going to clear the air concerning this report if it's true or false since last week the rumor has been on social media that peter machuku the husband of Osna Chimwachuku, the gospel singer, has been sentenced to death by hanging. And the gist lovers were talking about it in such a way that it is hard to not to believe that it is true. One thing with social media gist carriers is that they don't check their facts well before taking to the social media. And I think this is not nice. You know, we are supposed to check our facts, you know. Uh, well before taking to the social media to make any post, you know, on any issue. If we don't know the facts, we should just keep calm, you know, and delay. Even the platform that we put our trust in, which we think that carry better news, might deceive us. So we shouldn't be relaxed when it comes to checking our facts well before coming to the social media to you know post make any post you know it's just like the news making around social media that the actress not nollywood actress and evangelist uh jukaria anganobi was going down the aisle with a man much younger than her and the way I'm saying is that <laughs> the way that I'm saying it as if it's really true, and actually most of us believe that. But the good thing is that most of us didn't actually talk about it. But those who talked about it, Eukarya came out online to clear the air to tell everybody that those people who went about rumoring about her relationship with a younger man were just uh devils who wanted to dent his her name and who wanted to attack her ministry so she said many things about the the particular um rumor and said that it was false so the same thing i don't know why do people carry so much rumor online that we don't even know what to believe anymore and this got to stop most people are relying on this news that are getting on social media and the more factual uh news that we give that you give them the better your the experience with you so you rumors mongers should stop you know because i don't know the reason why you should do that back to peter machuku the federal government on 20th of May has placed 23 count charges on him bordering on homicide which if found guilty comes with a penalty of death and one of the charges he is facing is case of culpable homicide and culpable homicide is an act which has resulted in a person's death but is held not to amount to mother. To clear the air concerning the current state of this Usinachi Wachuku's case, that the trial of Usinachi Wachuku's husband, Peter Wachuku, has not commenced. So he has not been sentenced to death. According to fact check run by dnb stories editors the reports saying that mr peter wachuku the embattled husband of late gospel singer sister osnachi wachuku has been sentenced to death for killing his wife 
is false. DNB is an African news blog that carries authentic uh, African and Nigerian entertainment news. So, if DNB has confirmed that this um, news, this report going on is false, then it is false. So, we shouldn't talk about it anymore. I'm serious. We should stop. Because I've been hearing this since last week, and this even even today, someone was talking about this seriously, talking about it and telling men that they should pick their you know learn from this man's mistake and all that. So, but see, I don't know. I was like shaking my head and said, ah, let me check again, or maybe they have really concluded this thing. Let me check again. Then I checked my facts again and found out that it's still false. So why should people be carrying fake news all around and just be talking as if it's real? You know, you boldly come to the social media and just sit down in front of the camera and say things that you're not sure of. I don't think we should be doing that. We have grown past that. I mean, social media bloggers and vloggers have grown past that one. So please, let us stop deceiving people. Let us stop giving people fake news because... Sometimes all these fake news have impact in the life of the people. Now they go about talking it, telling people, others, this is what I had and all that. So please, I'm um, talking to uh, my fellow vloggers. I know I'm new in this system, but I am talking to you, uh, new bloggers, because me, I am looking up to you guys. You that have been established for a long time now, you know, I know I have been a blogger. I've been a blogger, but I'm new to vlogging. In blogging also, you have to uh, make uh, sure that whatever you're uh, saying or whatever you're writing is the fact. As long as it's fact-based, that is not fiction. It has to be, you know, true. It has to be factual. So, please, let us stop this. Let us stop this because I don't know whether some people are finding it fun, whether some people think it's fun. You know, carrying fake rumors. Sometimes people will just snap pictures when a, when they see a man and a woman snapping pictures. Maybe a picture of a man and a woman. They will not conclude that that man and woman are getting married or something like that. I don't know. You see, and this um, I remember when this um Flash Boy and uh, what's the name of that actress again? When their own was raining, you know, I was like, wow. I was looking at the gist. I was like, well, hey, so these fine, two fine people that they are getting married and all that. But at the end of everything, I found out that it is not true. It is a lie. But thank God I'm not really into all this uh, gossip news. I'm not into it. So I don't know, but we have to. The question I ask myself each time I see this rumor going on on the internet is why should they do that? Why are they doing this? Why? Why? Are they doing this to attract traffic to their vlog or blog? Are they doing it because they, they are ignorant? Why? So, ask, what do you think about this? Please, if you have anything to share about this post, kindly share it and let us all learn. Thank you so much for coming to this end with me. My name remains Florence and this is Story TV. Please, if you have not subscribed, do wait to subscribe and set notifications so that you will be notified when I make my post. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.